Hey everybody, today I am doing this look for you guys. This is my um, collaboration with Ricky Pointer. I mentioned her in my favorite underrated YouTubers video. And we decided to do a collab together, which I was really honored to collab with her because she is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. So we wanted to do festival makeup. She is doing a very colorful, a very bright, rainbowy kind of eye. Um, I will have her video on her channel linked down below. It should be up when I post this. And I decided to do more of like a, um, kind of like a grungy black eye. I really wanted to use black and gold because it's one of my favorite color combinations and then I decided to just go kind of crazy keep the face mostly neutral but really make the eyes pop so I added some glitter through my brows we have a very like geometric eye shape kind of going on I understand that this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea and ever, some people may look at this and think it looks really bad or they would never wear this this isn't meant to be a wearable makeup by any means this is meant to be very very fun very out there something that if you just wanted to try to go very bold <laughs> this is definitely a look for you. So I'll zoom you up real quick so you can get a good look on everything. So I just did a nude lip, a pretty nicely contoured cheek. And then for the eyes here, you can see I just did like a black outlined eye with some gold double winged eyeliner. So you can kind of get a look of it there. And like I said, we got the glittery brows, which I think is really fun. And I think that um, if you're wanting something for like Coachella that's a little bit more wearable, I explained how at the end you could definitely do the glitter brow, a bright lip, add some mascara, and you'd be good to go because I think the glitter brow is just really like music festival-ish. Um, it just kind of screams it to me. So anyway, that is the whole look. So if you guys want to know how you can do this, uh, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start this tutorial off, I just applied two pieces of tape. That way when we go in with our eyeliner, it gives a really, really sharp line. Basically, eyeliner is going to be our eyeshadow for this look. This is a very important step. I know I've been doing it a lot, but I cannot stress how much cleaner it makes everything look, especially with this look. Um, it's just going to give such a sharp edge, and it's going to look very, like, artsy and cool. Um, I'm actually going to start by curling my lashes today. And I'm doing this because we're going to be, like I said, using eyeliner as our eyeshadow, and I don't want to get my eyelash curler all gunky. So like all, all good. And I have no makeup on. I did have to like for this video wipe off what I was wearing before so that I could film this. So I have a little bit of mascara left on my eyeballs and my eyebrows are done but nothing else. So anyway, let's move on. So the first step here as I kind of did it on this eye is just to start kind of making the shape of our eyeshadow liner look basically. So with that tape, this is why the tape becomes very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting here with makeup remover trying to get these lines straight. Just trace right alongside the edge there. Kind of go down to your lash line and then pull it up along the edge of that tape. And then when your crease kind of starts to appear a little bit, you're going to just kind of start to drag it in. And I'm just using an Urban Decay 24-7 glide on pencil. You could use cream liner and a brush with this. You could use any type of an eyeliner that you like. I would just recommend you use something really long wearing. And you can see that during this process I am in no way being like really precise. I'm just trying to get it so that we have a line. Now there. for the kind of fun part, where we sort of traced in everything, we're just going to kind of start to fill in basically our entire lid space with this liner. Um, I don't know, for some reason this kind of reminds me of like coloring back when I was a kid, so I really, really like this step. But like I said, no matter what eyeliner you're using, you can do this with it. You're just filling in your lid space. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of sit here and let this dry for like just a second. Next, I'm going in here with a black eyeshadow. I'm using Blackout from the Naked 2 palette, but with black eyeshadows, it doesn't really matter, especially with this look since you have that liner base. Just use any type of black that you want. Taking this on just a small brush, and I'm just going to pat it right over the top of that eyeliner to intensify the black color even more. I would just make sure that the black color is matte. So we're just doing this to kind of set that eyeliner and fill in any places that you may have missed and just make everything look nice and even. And this is a step two where you can kind of go in and make sure that everything is looking even on both sides and that not one side is like higher than the others. It can be a little bit off, but just try to get it as even as you can. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is go in here with a gold liner. I'm using the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the shade Extreme Gold. I don't like this, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This kind of burns my eyes a little bit. So if I get kind of teary-eyed, that is why. It's not as bad as the Liquid Crystal product 
product watch I will be using a little bit later for something different than like you know my eyeliner. When I was preparing to do this makeup I did a trial run and I noticed the liquid crystal made my eyes puffy and red and this just burned a little. So um, I do recommend going in and picking up a different liquid liner. The color is beautiful but if you have any gold liner it will work. I'm just using it because this is the only gold liquid liner that I have but um, I'm not going to lie I don't love it but uh, just use whatever you have. And with this we're just going to start to draw a relatively thick winged out gold line on our upper lash line. I hate liners with brushes like this because they get all over your eyelashes. And for the wing, just take it right up alongside the edge of that tape there. And it'll kind of just do it for you. And if you're like me and you're having a problem with this liner getting all over your lashes, I would just take either your finger, take like a little makeup remover wipe and just kind of clean them off. And just kind of go over the line until you get like your desired intensity and kind of your desired thickness. As for the whole eyelash thing, you can see we still have it on our eyelashes, but this product just seems to like to cling to them. so. I'm just gonna let it be. We'll put on mascara later and it'll fix so it. After we have this, I'm just going to remove the tape. Starting from the bottom here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That was a stupid joke. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're just going to run this through our tight line and our water line. And then using that same black shadow, just go in and kind of run this along your lower lash line a bit. I'm actually gonna switch brushes. And then we're going to do a double wing. So go back to that gold. Kind of just start to sketch out another wing here. Okay, so I didn't show this part because it was kind of an impromptu decision, but I decided to take my Stalo black liner and just kind of trace along the outside of the black there, just to give it a little bit more sharpness. The, I didn't show it, like I said, but it was just really simple, just traced outside of it, and of course it's optional, like I just made it up. We're now going to apply mascara so that this look doesn't look so crazy, and it's really going to make it look more sexy. I'm using the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Mascara, and just apply a lot of this. You could even go in with some crazy lashes if you want. I think that'd be very like Coachella or um, kind of music festival uh, appropriate, but I'm just going to stick with this. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some foundation real quick and then I'll come back and show you guys what I am using for like the lips and the cheeks and everything and also the final step on the brows, which is really fun. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. Okay, so I am back. What I used for foundation was my uh, Boleto Studio Airbrush Foundation. I've done a whole separate video on that if you want to see how we did. I just want something very high coverage. So I applied quite a bit of it. And then for blush, I used a little bit of my um, Rimmel Lasting Finish Blush in Santa Rosa. My favorite all-purpose blush. I mean, it goes with absolutely anything, even like an insane really really heavy look like this so I applied a little bit of that contoured with a little bit of my Too Faced Chocolate Slowly bronzer I didn't bronze with it I just kept it to the cheekbones and right by my temples for my lips I'm wearing a mixture of Milani's nude cream color statement lipstick which is just a basic nude and then on top of that I put uh, Revlon super lustrous lip gloss in the shade nude luster it just gave a very like pretty nude this is one of those looks that you could definitely rock with just your plain lips and it would look fine because it's so so heavy on the eyes and it's so like artistic and dramatic. For the brows to finish them off I did something kind of a little bit different. I took the NYX liquid crystal liner in the shade um what is this called? Crystal Silk. It's like a golden color. I'll cut to the clip here of me applying it through my brows actually and what that did is it just kind of um I don't know if you're doing like a Coachella or like a music festival type makeup I think you want something to be dramatic and um for me it was all about the eyes so adding a little bit of glitter through it eyes I think it's a little bit unexpected and I think it just adds like and again that very like artistic touch and it just looks really cool and this is something that if you are actually going to Coachella and you want something really simple you could definitely um, just apply some of this through your brows and then do like a cool like winged out blue liner or um, just some mascara, maybe a bright lip, and then put like glitter through your brows. It just looks really cool and I think it's very like Coachella um, music festival appropriate. I'll zoom you up on the eye so you can get a good look of what it looks like up close. Alrighty, there it is.
I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and you found this a little bit fun. Um, let me know if you maybe will do something like this for like a maid, I don't know, just something crazier. If you have done any looks in your life that are just really crazy. Don't forget to go subscribe to Ricky's channel. I will have her link down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.